about our workshop is our students are able to learn in a safe environment where it's okay to make mistakes. And then once they're ready, we're able to get clients who come in and hire our students to do different jobs. It was really cool getting to be here with everyone who's just like me and learning that how everyone here just does an excellent job. Welcome to Inclusion Short Films Holiday Edition. <laughs> I want you to uh, introduce yourself, the name of the story, and pitch away. Go ahead. My name is Tony Vickers. My name is Anthony Rosado. My name is Christina Hart. It's titled Action. And it's one of the stories that stars Tia Hancock. So this particular pitch? is about a character named Tia Hancock. Who came up with Tia Hancock? I did. You did. Who is Tia Hancock? I don't know. It's, it's just a character <laughs> from. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you better know if you're pitching. You better know. Go ahead. It just popped in my head. So she's the celebrity, uh, the, the featured celebrity guest, and the the main focus of this auction is a very rare blue diamond necklace that's going to be put up for bid. When she arrives there, she meets a girl with autism who happens to be a very big fan of Tia's uh, and her movies named Jessica. Jessica like tries to see the necklace in person, but someone is trying to steal it and then they kidnap her to keep her from telling anyone. Tia is seen dis trying to disable a bomb, a bomb in her upcoming film. But time runs out and kaboom, the bomb goes off and it actually turned out to be a glitter bomb and everyone's covered in glitter and then everyone still has, is at the high school reunion having a good old time. They continue on partying the end. The story begins with Tia going to a bar for a rap party and suddenly a biker gang who usually frequents the bar that the rap party is being held in shows up and later on it is revealed that the background actor is actually a martial arts expert who fights off the biker gang and saves Tia. Alright so I've listened to all three pitches and I want you guys to give yourself a big hand, you did a great job. <laughs> And I will be, uh, I'll be making a decision very, very shortly. Okay, thank you guys. Hey, Sacramento Workshop. Uh, so I looked at the three pitches and it was a really tough decision, but the film that I'm going with is Holiday High School Reunion. So let's get going. Got a lot of work to do. Holidays are around the corner. When we started writing about the script, we didn't really use like any props with it. We just had like tossing our ideas and it's a lot of critical thinking first out of it. There's also some smooth with the plot and what the characters do. So it's still a process. Vanessa starts looking around the room. Finally, she finds a ventilation shaft on the ceiling. Let's put parentheticals under each character. Each time there's an action? Like that? It's great, just um, very creative what they have in mind to put their ideas to work with the characters. Well, one thing, I have to check how many stuff are in the gym where we're shooting, such as outlets, lights, and windows. By thinking about it before starting production, we're able to have these ideas already in place, so then by the time we get to the location, we can just say, okay, look at this drawing we already have set up. This is what I want. Uh, go ahead and set it up that way. What I can do is I can do a quad chain here. Why well, like so far? How much you need for the movie, thinking, setting up, how much effort you had to put into it. So what's cool about this project and this opportunity for our students, especially with this particular film, is it gives our students an, uh, an opportunity to see what a real set looks like. And whenever you're ready. Uh, 
It's your high school reunion. Well, I do. And then when you say uh, high school wasn't great for anyone. I'm sorry I offended you. That wasn't my intention. Welcome all the actors with a round of applause. Our students get a lot of really good hands-on experience uh, working on our sets. Uh, and they, they get a chance to fail, which is awesome. And in the, when you're actually working in the industry, if you fail, sometimes that's your last chance. Quiet on set, please. Whatever shot that, that there is, like, like over the shoulder shot or deep focus and shallow focus, I have like lots of experience with it ever since last semester. Pictures up. It's been fast paced with setting up the lights. There were times that has been a bit not too rough, and I did my best. Right now, we're putting the film together for the Hollywood High School reunion. Roll camera, please. Slate, please. I'm playing Brock today. I try to kind of think about Brock's ticks and what his turn-ons are and what his turn-offs are. Action. Being a filmmaker means that you're creating your own ideas, like how to set the shot, how to get their actions, get their movements, um, how to set up the scene, like where should the props go. Moving on to scene eight. The students did pretty much everything. Our goal is to have the students do 80%, staff does 20%. And we're just there to help guide them and make sure that they are using their coping mechanisms and their professional behavior that they've learned from us and the technical skill that they practice in class. So the students, a lot of times we're doing the camera operating, students are helping with post-production, with editing, students are helping with building sets, building props, finding locations. Oh, what I think of it so far, I think it's pretty great. It's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. I kind of like this program so far because I like to stay a little bit longer. You know, the more I practice, the better I get. I just learned that everything happens on day one. And also being here on time and having to deal, deal with all the, all the traffic habit every morning and stuff like that. What I learned so far do I need more than two items? Do I need more than three items? All this stuff like that. I think it's cool to see my uh, name in the credit, and I hope it brings a well impact to the audience. That is a wrap! America's hero returns. No one can outsmart her, outfight her, or outaction her. The most iconic movie star in Hollywood. She has saved the world before, or can she save it this time? The clock may be running out for what? Tia Hancock. Miss Hancock. You're not supposed to get cut. The prop master messed up. The timer was supposed to stop when I cut the wire. I'm the director. This is my film. I yell cut, not you. Your film? Whose name is on this chair? This is my franchise and my film. I'm the star, and you're just directing this one. Lucid. Tia, uh, your agent is still in negotiations for that network role. He should know later today. Stacy is the personal assistant of Tia Hancock. He has the highest levels of caffeine in his body compared to any human on Earth. Your fan page has been blowing up since the announcement in the Hollywood Journal, and um, someone posted an invitation to the uh, Edward James High School 10-year reunion? That last one is not important. <laughs> is that your old high school? It's tonight, you should go. I bet I can still make you a last minute appointment at the salon. Yeah, high school wasn't so great for me, so I don't think I'm gonna go. High school wasn't great for anybody, but at least you'll get to see some of your old friends, right? Uh, let's see, uh, Amanda Hussa, uh, Larry Glenn, Francisco Lopez, Let Vanessa. Me see that. I have that appointment tonight. 
I can totally move that till tomorrow. You should go. Okay, I'll go. Make me that salon appointment. Have it washed and waxed. I'm not a ballet. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, the uniform looks similar. It's a security uniform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Nessa, is that you? Tia, I've been following you on social media. Your life looks amazing. Vanessa, Tia's best friend from back in high school. Vanessa is a well-trained nurse with the heart of gold. And I will follow you back just as soon as I can. Okay, okay, I get the picture, Miss Hollywood. No, it's just that I don't have a signal. You think in this day and age the school would have solved its cell signal problem? <gasps> Tia Hancock! <laughs> the cheerleader. These three were the big bullies on campus back in high school, especially towards Vanessa. They still think that they are the hottest thing since sliced bread. Brock was the jock. He dated the cheer captain and was voted most likely to succeed. Would you look at that? There's Vanessa. Nessie hasn't changed a bit. Still as awkward as ever. <laughs> Her name is Vanessa. Ooh. Saw you over there in the lion's den. They're the worst of my fan base. Those Barbies couldn't make it five minutes without being nasty. I wish they would just grow up, but I know I have. You scurried off at the sight of Ashley. You know, you don't have to be afraid of her anymore. I know. I'm learning how to handle these situations differently ever since my diagnosis. I'm autistic. I have been trying so hard to seem neurotypical, but now I know why I'm seen as a duckling in a world full of swans. I, I just don't see the world in the same way other people do. I was always thinking that something was wrong with me, but now I know there isn't. My diagnosis doesn't change who I am, but it has given me a way to understand the world around me in a community of people who support me. Back in high school, I wanted so badly to be normal, but now I'm glad I'm not. I like who I am. I'm glad you're different too. At least you're not like them. I think Ashley still sells makeup door to door. I, I hear you're a nurse now. Yeah, I'm actually sort of on call right now. One of the nurses needed a night off and I wasn't far away, but I, I can't get a signal. Oh, that reminds me, my agent called me and I have to text him back about a new role. Good luck. You'll never reach him from the dead zone. You're still so weird, and I love it. Uh, I think I might check outside. I used to be able to get a signal by the bleachers. So that's why everyone used to hang out by the bleachers. Huh. That's not why. I'm sorry, do I know you? Hey, Vanessa. Gary the Goth, once the kid with the black eyeliner, now a hopeless romantic businessman. He has thus far suppressed his eyeliner addiction. You probably don't recognize me without all my eyeliner and broodiness. I finally got some counseling and uh, added a little color to my wardrobe. Gary the Goth? Is that you? Uh, people call me Gary these days. Gary, right. Oh, sorry Vanessa, I'm just waiting on an important call from my shareholders. Mm. Looks like I'll have to wait till tomorrow to hear from the Tokyo office. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> hey, so, uh, Vanessa, what's going on with you? Wax on, wax off. That's how I defended myself against those 10 guys. Mr. Miyagi was such a mentor. You know, you really do have to be in Japan to get real Kobe beef. <laughs> if you try and order it anywhere here in America, it's just not uh, the same thing. It's not authentic, despite what they try to tell you. <laughs> well, I gave up red meats in nursing school. Lean meats are so much better for your cardiovascular system. I'm sorry to interrupt this little moment, but Vanessa, I need to talk to you. Something weird is going on. I'm a little busy right now. <laughs> Come on. Hey, I, I was just having a really good conversation with Gary the Goth. I, I mean, Gary the successful businessman who travels all over the world. That was Gary the Goth? Anyway, I think we might be locked in here. What? I tried the door to the outside and it was locked, and the new security system they installed says lockdown. So what? I was finally connecting with someone for the first time in a long time and you interrupted. Gary the Goth and I were really connecting. And besides, it's not like we need to go anywhere anytime soon. Like, seriously? <sighs> um, I think my water just broke. <laughs> Oh, 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 Brittany, Brittany oh, are you okay? Okay, someone else should call 911. My call is not going through at all. First of all, we all need to stay calm. I doubt anyone has a signal because the school's in a dead zone. What we need to do is keep her seated. Can someone grab me a chair from the table over there? How are your contractions? <sighs> Look at Nessie all trying to act like she's in charge. If you don't want my help, fine. Just keep her seated, monitor her blood pressure, and keep track of how often her contractions are coming. I think I know where we can find a phone. Okay, wait. We're locked in? There's no getting out? I don't know what I'm gonna do. What am I gonna do? Wait. Okay, hold on. I work for Undergo Security, the same company that installed the system. There have been reports of this type of malfunction before. I think there's a terminal switch in the main office somewhere. Let's go see if we can override it and get ourselves out of here. Get back. Oh! Perks of being the star quarterback. <laughs> One of the school's worst kept secrets. <laughs> Dial town. I thought you said you worked for the company. Oh, well, I do! In the custodial division. Watch out. Okay. Come help me figure this out. Why are you asking me? Can't you just rain man this whole situation? Tell me which wire to cut. Because you're my friend, I'm gonna ignore how absolutely insensitive that statement was.
brilliant noob. Well, at least I did something. I mean, you're autistic. Shouldn't you know all about computers? Isn't that what people like you are into? I I'm still the same person I've always been. I am so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ladies, I'm glad you just had a big breakthrough and all, but that doesn't help with our current situation here. Tia, why don't you go crawl up there? I think you could get to the bleachers and call an ambulance. But it's probably dirty up there. You're an action star. You can get your hands a little dirty, can't you? Brock, help me out over here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to Brittany. She'll need a nurse. Thank you, Vanessa. You're welcome. Are you sure you're a nurse and not a postal worker? Because that was a very special delivery. Sorry to interrupt, but you were awesome.